Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog, and uh, we're going to check out Fisher Online. I haven't played Fisher Online in a while, and I understand that um, some new content's been added, including, I think, basically the Norwegian Sea or something close. Maybe not Norwegian Sea. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe it's just a sea map. I have no idea, y'all. I haven't played Fisher Online in so long. So I thought I would actually record sort of this first experience of me going back in and checking it out. We may just fish like on that first map for a little while. or I don't know. We'll explore and see what's up available. But before we get to that, I actually wanted to ask you all if you would consider supporting me in my efforts on this channel and another channel in a little different way than I typically would ask. And that is involving the other channel. I have just launched a channel called Table Hogs. Uh, I have been thinking and somewhat talking about this for at least the past year or so. Um, and finally released the first video. I did a video on that channel um, just playing through a board game, digital implementation of a board game uh, called Raiders of the North Sea. And that channel, as you might imagine, as you've been on my streams or heard me talking about this before, is going to be focused on both physical board game and card games, as well as digital, digital implementation of board and card games. So that's my hope for that channel. We'll see how it goes. But what I'm asking is if you would be willing to go over and throw a subscribe to my new channel, <laughs> I would really appreciate it. I, I don't mind putting the grind in, in terms of leveling up my new channel. Obviously, we've been grinding away here on MDog Gaming for a long time now. Um, but in that time, I have found a wonderful community, and that's you. And if you wouldn't mind throwing me a little support, even on the secondary channel, just so that it um, gets a little bit of momentum, uh, that would be super helpful. So if you have any interest at all in board games, card games, digital implementation of those games, or just maybe you're having a hard time falling asleep and uh, hearing me blabber on about those types of games might be a remedy. Either way, if you don't mind following uh, following that new channel, I would really appreciate it. I will leave a link to that channel here in the description of this video, as well as in probably the comment section uh, of this video. So you should be able to click on that link and, and throw a quick subscribe if you're willing. Now, let's check out Fisher Online. Uh, I feel like it's just been so long. I'm just curious kind of what's going on here, the state of my account, <laughs> the state of all kinds of things. So we're going to do that. As you might be able to tell from the setting around me, I am, I am not uh, back home yet. I'm still um, traveling for a few days, but I will be home very soon. And... Uh, in fact, by the time you're watching this, I will at least be on the way back home. So hopefully we'll see you again soon from my normal spot and maybe even get a stream in uh, over on RF4. We'll see how it goes, though. All right. Let's get to the Fisher Online. There we go. Here we are. And let's connect. So one thing we could do is actually just go to the Steam page and look at the update to see, wow, I think the graphics of these splash pages, you could go back in time and see the different iterations. They have come a long way. Okay. Here we are. Wow. Yeah. something about the settings here. Again, I'm on a laptop that is a little bit of an older laptop, so it might be um, it might be on me more than um, more than the game. Although <laughs> I guess it is dusk. Where are we? Why are we way up here? 
<laughs> what has happened? I've never, is this a new part of the map? Can you actually fish up here on this little? No, it looks like that's as close to the water as I can get. I, <laughs> I've never been all the way up here on this part of the map. Why would the game load me in up here? That makes no sense. So it's about to be overnight. That's kind of a bummer. I don't know what I want to do in terms of fishing. I mean, I think I want to look at the maps that are available because I was looking on Steam real quick. I paused it to look on the, uh, uh-oh. I can't even, we may have to fast travel. Oh, no, we got here. Wait, think, can you cross the road? I mean, we should be able to go towards the water now, right? All right, let's just fast travel. I'm kind of afraid we're going to break something or bug out. Yeah, here's, everything does look a little different though, doesn't it? Okay, so let's check out the map. Um, it looks like it was in March when, is it a Greenland map or something came out? Again, like I saw Pilker, I saw some of the terminology and types of fishing that RF4 has been doing this past year or so. Makes me think that it's somewhat similar, but we'll see. All right, here's travel. So up until this point, these maps all look familiar to me. You know, maps I haven't unlocked yet. Kazakhstan, Caspian Sea, Norway, the uh, archipelago, and then there's Greenland. So Greenland is the new one, right? Does that say level 45? Wow, we are level 34 on this account. We also have Angler House, which is a private map, and then the three DLC maps that once you have purchased these DLCs, you can go there no matter what level you are. Um, so that's that's sort of my memory of the game. The only new map that I, I think is the Greenland map. So the next question is, if we go to our quests, there used to be a way to travel. Wasn't it from, maybe it wasn't quests? I thought it was. There used to be a way, oh no, I know what I'm thinking about here. Okay, so like you get angler tokens from doing the daily quests. I cannot believe I just remembered how to turn the light on. It was P, by the way. And then you can go to the store, travels, and travel to Greenland. Requires 10 tournament tokens. I currently have two. So... Now, the next question is, I know this is convoluted, convoluted, but we go to craft table. Okay, craft table looks different. Those are cutting, those are bundles. Wow, they've changed, uh, Wolf has changed the UI again, it looks like. Maybe it's under assembly table. Okay, no, nothing is under assembly table. Why is nothing under assembly table? Okay. How about the cutting table? Nothing is there. Um, where could he have moved the place where you turn tokens? Like that's gotta be under crafting, right? Uh, store. I wanna say that, yeah, so we have this new currency, right? I don't really know why we have a new currency, but the currency has changed. Is there any, oh yeah, here's an ocean kit. So it has a marine pilker rod, a real 44 kilo line for 1750 of whatever that new currency is. Booster, big booster, improvement ticket. What is in the spring chest? A 15-day VIP card. That's their premium. Four camp threes. And five vitamin cocktails. And that costs 500 plus, is that 10 silver? I think that's 10 silver. 500, and that's for 
15 days. So it's the same cost as 30 days, except it comes with those extra things. Okay, anyway, none of that is helping. Oh, there's an ocean reel, by the way. 9,000 silver plus 900 premium. Thing. I still have not figured out how to craft. Maybe things have changed, but back in the day, there was a way to turn the different currencies, craft them into other currencies. And with the idea being like, you could basically collect these tournament tokens. So like if you wanted to travel to a different map that you weren't high enough level to, it gave you a way you could do it. does not appear that that is still an option unless I am just missing something, which obviously is entirely possible. But if we look at quest on the lake, like the best we can do is get angler tokens, at least here. That doesn't help us get anything that would allow us to travel to the ocean later. All right, how do we, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So, let me actually look on the map, see what I've got. So there's a tent spot and then some of the small fish up there. It looks like I haven't really saved any other spots. Um, the holding space bar down allows you to place things down on the map. And it looks like the game or my laptop they're conversing and they don't like each other. All right, there's a trap. I'm just trying to make sure even like under the bucket screen, there wasn't anything about crafting, huh? Okay. So. We still have cards, it looks like. Oh, it looks like it let me just double click on it and open it from my inventory. Give me a booster card. These are collections. Here's the currencies. We have fish coins. We have angler tokens. Improvement tokens, storekeepers tokens, and tournament tokens. No, I don't want to sell them. I want to get more of them, if anything. I guess we could look and see how much they cost if they're in the auction house. Uh, so what I was thinking about doing, though, is setting up our three feeder rods. And then seeing what we have on them. Large one, we probably need to have maybe size zero hooks, honestly. We want to have a little bit of a bite rate. And what all do we want to fish with? Some dough, maybe some homemade dough here. Caramel dough. Put that on one. And we'll just cast it out there a little bit. And then on two, let's put something a little wormy on there. Um, maybe blood worm, maggot, worm. Let's just try blood worm for now. Seems, I seem to remember that that's got a pretty decent bite rate usually. We could have put, uh, we could have put some ground bait on into these, but I don't think I want to. 
Why don't we try pearl barley in this one for a little bit? Looks like we're getting a bite on. First line. Ooh, and the second line. Oh, we got to accept that quest, though. We want to take the daily quest here. Okay. Golden Crucian, we'll take it. Now, if you hit T, it'll cast it right back to the exact spot. I don't know why. But there was a thing showing up in the bottom of the screen. It looked like a yellow reel. As if something was wrong with my reel. Maybe it's the way I have that set up. But it's good to know that we actually were able to come to this map and actually catch some fish. I was, there's been so many changes in the game. New hooks, ooh, it's a large rough. New, new hooks, new, uh, what else is new? New leaders, new gear, new map, sea fishing. A lot has changed since I last played Fisher Online. Okay, I feel like there was something I was going to do. Um, this is still a premium option, I'm guessing. See the quest on different locations. Sit here for a few minutes, I guess. Trying to use my phone to look up real quick um, if you can still craft different tokens. I wonder if this is something that was changed where if you don't have premium, you can't do certain things. I don't. I don't know. That it used to not be a restriction involving premium, but maybe it is now. It's hard to believe that that would have been taken out of the game because the different token types are still in there. So I don't think you would still have, there's a nice little run. I don't think you would still have all the different token types if you weren't, um, we'll give it a little bit more time by the way, but the, um, so far the, The uh, pearl barley is just too slow. Probably ought to just go ahead and switch it. We've had multiple fish on the other two baits. So what else do we want to try? Maybe, I think I saw a semolina. Maybe we try semolina. You know, one thing we haven't caught much of, well, there's a crucian. That's what I was about to say. We haven't seen any of the crucian type fish. Considering we have zero size hooks on them, I have been pretty impressed with the size of the fish we're catching. That's not very bad. And for this daily quest that gives us the token, we need to catch a total of 5.1 kilos of fish. And right now we're at 1.49. We're slowly getting there. And we can also see if, you know, after a few fish, if we have enough, like right now we've got two rud. So like, is there a decent quest for rud, yeah, like this gives us medium club supply if we wanted to do that. Silver, the uh, if we could get on a crucian run, there's some good crucian silver quest. Oh, finally, we have a fish on. Um, okay, this, let's see if this is a good fish. If it's a good fish, maybe we throw it back in. But I think this is probably a good opportunity to go ahead and try a different bait here on this line. I 
It is a crucian though, it is. You know, we could just try bread. Let's just throw in some bread. I don't like just trying the bread out here. Okay, let's see. So much of the um, I don't know why. I think I probably need to delete it and re-download it. My Steam app on my phone isn't working at all. So if I'm going to look up the answer to this question, I need to. Um, look it up on this computer. I think I can do that while we're fishing. So if I go to cutting table, can we get that gudgeon into a bait fish? Heck yeah. Definitely want to do that with that small of a gudgeon. Wow, quick bite rate. This is what I remember about uh, blood worms and some of the like wormy stuff is might not always be like the best fish, but the bite rate can be really nice. And we are up to almost two and a half kilos, so we might actually finish this quest even before nighttime is over. If this keeps up. There's a roach. How much silver do we have on this account? 10,149 silver. Um, all right, let me see. I don't think it's going to mess with my recording because in OBS, I'm actually just recording um, straight to, I'm just recording the game. So what was it that I was looking up? It's called crafting tokens. Let me see if I can find that post about crafting tokens in the discussions part. Imagine if we had... Um, Blood worms on all three. And I know the gameplay is a little jittery. It's because I'm on my laptop. It's actually not uh that's that's the thing that's you know any any game that has like any sort of like graphical requirement um is going to be a little dicey on the laptop so it's not necessarily fisher online's fault or what's going on okay Okay, what have I done? I have nothing in my assembly table when I go there. I thought crafted tokens there were there before. Was looking to make some tournament tokens to use some to buy lures. Can't find them. Hello, now it's happening in stores. You have three tabs at the bottom, one of which is called exchange. This is where you can exchange your tokens for others. What? In the store. In the like in the in-game store or in the out of game store I mean in the hold on. I think they said it was called exchange right let's see if we can find that let's see how well oh that looks like a pretty healthy rud let's see how well this net works that was pretty good yeah that is a healthy rud All right, so if we go to store, is there an exchange thing? Okay, I don't see it here. Wow, guys, the bite rate. All right, we're at 3.8 kilos, by the way. I mean, in all seriousness, just fish with blood worms. If you're trying to do, if you're wanting to catch just like small fish to do this weight, 
I'm catching pretty decent fish, a lot of rud, some other stuff too. And um, we're already over four kilos now. That reminds me, are there any rud quests that we're interested in? Three pieces. We might as well get the we might as well get it. Are there any other? No. Let's go ahead and look at the rud real quick. And the smallest ones would be this one and this one. All right, we just got some club medium supply. And there's a nice rough. Yeah, this is the one. If anybody knows what that uh, yellow reel symbol is, let me know. I think it's probably because I might not have it set up properly. Okay, I still don't see exchange. Oh, I see it now. All right, tournament token. We can get it for three angler tokens. And we have a bunch of angler tokens. We're about to get another one. Or we can get it for improvement tokens, which we do have 36 of those. Although improvement tokens can be used to level up certain part things of gear, I guess. So we probably would want to use this. We only need, what, 10? I mean, so that's how we potentially go try out the new map. The thing that makes me nervous is I don't know that I'll have any equipment I can use. So if I do another Fisher Online video, I'll try to do a little bit of research first and see um, what, if anything, we need to know. Can we just like go into the map blind? I just don't know, like, is it, you know, like an RF4, certain gear, you sort of have to use the right gear there or it might not work very well. How much silver would we need for that? Like, is 10,000 going to get us anything? Those are the questions. But I do want to try it. I mean, it's worth trying just to see kind of what it's like, right? Um, but you could definitely, I mean, needing 10 tournament tokens, like, what was it, three? And just as a reminder, we're only getting one angler token for turning in this daily quest. And then to get one tournament token, we are using three angler tokens. So that means we technically need to do this particular day daily 30 times to go there. And when you travel, it's typically for what, two hours? Yeah, for two hours. So 30 single angler token daily quests to go to the ocean map for two hours. We're at 4.3 uh, kilos, and this is a decent sized fish. We're going to be very close to finishing this quest now, I believe. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is the nicest fish we've caught here. Look at that large crucian. That finished the quest, by the way. I want to see what's on bread. This Is this the first fish we've caught on bread? Because it took a while. We still had not settled on like a good bait for this third rod. We might lose the fish on that middle rod, but probably not. It, unless it's changed, it's pretty forgiving on this, on this game. I think we're good. He's still on there. Very good. Oh, I never did turn this on, did I? That would have helped. Uh, yeah, let's go sell a fish. Well, let's make sure. Is there anything that we want to... Nah, I think we're good. We'll just sell it all. 
53 silver right there. <clears throat> okay, so what is the second map? I don't know how long. We might go play Germany just for a little bit. Let's see what the daily quest is at Germany. Oh, I love these, like, the art style on these uh, new splash screens. All right, so now we're in Germany. And oh, look at the size of carp we can catch here. If the daily quest has to do with any fish. Oh, carp species. Yeah, so we'll take, wait, balsa bar. I actually want the angler token. I mean, this is a lot more experience, obviously, to take the blue one, but I don't think we can take both, right? Isn't it a choice? Yeah. Yeah, it's a choice. Mirror carp for 134 silver. Is there time left? Yeah. I guess we'll do it. 134 silver is probably worth it. Um, okay. So let's just go down to, what, eight maybe? Do I have anything marked here? I think I usually fish at seven or eight. I'll try eight. I mean, the carp are everywhere, obviously, but can't see a thing. All right, there we go. So let's get our carp stuff out. So this will be Salamo. And then Salamo 3, and Salamo 3. Now, it has been a long time, folks, so bear with me. Uh, we're going to do, can we do, yeah, let's do 60 gram cage. And, yeah, if I can set up correctly. And I'm actually going to just do... To start off with, at least, uh, carp hook size one, and I want to put I want to put boilies on this one, I think. But isn't there just like corn? Yeah, I think I want to put corn on at least one of them. So we'll start with. Start with corn, and isn't there just regular carp ground bait? No way we don't have carp ground bait. Here's, we'll use this stuff. It should work fine. And then we'll go to the store and get some regular carp ground bait if we need. Cannot see a thing. Now, Let's look at the um, fish on the lake. Let's look at mirror carp. Just, I'm out of curiosity. Okay, strawberry, fruit, strawberry. Let's just put strawberry. So once again, we're going to go 60 gram. We'll do this same carp honey stuff. And we'll do large, sorry, carp one hooks. And this one we're going to do strawberry oilies. And then, like I said, I think on this one we're just going to use corn. Corn. Looks like strawberry got the first first hook up here. So we've got. So I took the any any fish daily quest instead of the more advanced one because, um, I wanted to get that token. I, I mean I feel like if we're gonna start using 
the token exchange than when we're not fishing at the new map or exploring the new map. We had certainly better be doing daily quests to get some of these angler tokens, or we're not going to be able to go back to the new map for long. Because uh, we need 30 of these, and this is only the second one that we're working on right now. So I, I don't know, this might be a mirror cart. Ooh, that's not good. Yep, there's a mirror cart, and we will take that. That's perfect size. We will finish this quest in no time if we uh, keep catching those easy to get in mirror cart. All right, while we have a chance, let's just run down here. I want to see. I thought there was just regular. Regular, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Attractors, regular carp honey. Maybe that's it. That looks a little different, doesn't it? There's Tinch Crucian, there's the Bream stuff, there's Universal. Leak, ground clay, okay. Dry dough. Oh, here we go. There's the regular carp stuff. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Lucky fishing, carp, grass silver carp, sea mullet. Ooh, wow. It looks like the sun is starting to try to come up. Ah, oh, that's so cool. You can see the light down there. Where our um Where our setup is. By the way, if you have, if you're carp fishing out here at Germany and you're using like beginner feeder equipment, and if you're worried that you're not going to be able to get the fish in or it's going to be really difficult to get the fish in, you actually can in Fisher Online, you can bring a boat down to where you're fishing from and you can jump in the boat as long as your poles are reachable from the water. So set up sort of close to the, where the water starts. You can grab the ride while you're in the boat and then go sort of chase the fish. I've made videos on that before, but it's just a way that, you know, you don't have to stand here and like suffer if you don't quite have the equipment for these carp. Look at this crucian on the corn. I'm going to try it one more time and then we'll switch to a boily. Uh, if, if, if we're going to catch crucian, that's not necessarily what we want to do. It's not necessarily what we're going for. I'm not sure how much it matters, but I will. Um, I might switch the ground bait over to regular carp ground bait here shortly. Because there are like new leader types and such, 
I was a little nervous that uh, my setups might not even work anymore, but with the new leaders, new hooks, I just didn't know. But so far, at least on these early maps, the way that I used to have my stuff set up still seems to be working. It's a regular carp. All right, so let's go ahead and switch this over to carp. And this is just way too slow. For whatever reason, the corn is not working, corn boily. So we'll switch this one to fruits, I think. Put the regular ground bait on there and switch the boily out to fruits. We saw on the uh, records list that that's worked pretty well on the mirrors and we want to try to finish that mirror income quest while we're while we're at it. And then, I don't know, this one, let's put one of the yellow boilies on there since we've got two reds on the other ones. Once again, switch out the ground bait and we need to go to boily because Corn is just not working, or it doesn't seem to be. So, like, tiger nut. I meant orange, not yellow, I think. Um, let's try... Let's try the C-U-R-C-U-M-A. I don't know how to say that, but that's what we're going to try using. Okay, immediately we get a hit on the fruit on the fruit spoily. Let's put that one in. Another, there's another mirror. By the way, we are at 10 out of 23 kilos on our uh, daily quest here. And now that it's morning-ish, they're starting to come in pretty good. Just a very overcast, foggy day. Uh, hopefully the fog will burn off and we'll actually see some of this Germany map. I don't know why, but the third line has not been staying slack. You see how the line's going? I don't know if that means like a fish is nibbling or if it's, there really shouldn't be current. This is a sort of lake here we're on, but that one line is having some difficulties. And I kind of want to see what happens if it like turns into a fish or... Nice carp. And that puts us at 14 kilos. So we need less than 10 kilos at this point. Less than 10. Oh, this is a decent carp. This will be, I don't know, a little better than what we've been catching. A little bigger. Not quite big enough to run on us, but big enough to like pull hard.
big cart mirror. I am going to take it with the quest though, just to give us a better chance of actually finishing the mirror quest. We only need one more now, and pretty much the next carp we catch will finish the daily quest for us. Although this one is pretty small. <laughs> this one is pretty small. Hey, it's a mirror carp. We just finished all of the tasks. All of the tasks. Oh, there were some mirror quests down here that we could have popped off on too, but that is okay. So weird that this, this third line never did come up with a bite or, I mean, it just doing that weird thing. All right, so at least we got a couple angler tokens. Got to play Fisher Online a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of homework. If I do another Fisher Online video and actually take a look at the Greenland map, um, I'm going to do a little bit of homework first. So if any of you all are still playing Fisher Online on the regular and have been keeping up with the Greenland map, I would love to hear in the comments how... Uh, how it's been, if you have been enjoying uh, your experiences on the new map, or if you've gotten to play there. It is a high-level map, so kind of curious how everybody is dealing with that. Um, but either way, uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the support. Thank you for even considering the possibility of going over and throwing some love to the new uh, Table Hog channel that um, I mentioned before. Right now, there's just one little video, but I'm going to start uh, growing the channel with uh, some videos as I have time. This will still be my primary channel, but um, as I have time, I'll, I'll try to make some more content focused on board games, card games, both physical and digital implementation. All right. As always, thank you for watching, and I wish you the best. Tight lines.